Hey everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, we pretty much... Uh, I don't really know how to explain what happened in the last episode. Lizette just magically teleported to us. She had learned how to sing on her own. And so she's now part of our crew again. And she can sing. I mentioned she can sing. Okay. So now that means we can actually start the Anthem, pro um, the Anthem program as sooner than, sooner than we thought we would. So funny for us to do, let us go forth and see what we have ahead of us. The start of Chapter 7. A Lambert Holiday Part 2. Are we on vacation again? Holy cow, that's a lot of free time. Okay. Um. They're burning. My body. My heart. My soul. They're all burning. Black flames roar as they use my soul as fuel. My flesh crackles, my bones melt, my throat tears. Before I knew it, I was screaming. This is a curse. This is bitterness. This is hatred. That's why... That's why I... I should die here. Die here. I should just... Die here. Just die, 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 die. Black flame shall envelop the world. dream. Alto, what's wrong? It's just a dream I used to have a while ago. Wait. Good morning, Alto. Y Your Majesty! Look outside. It's a beautiful day out, don't you think? Yeah, that's great, but Your Majesty, what are you doing in my room? This is my castle. I have the keys for every single room. That's not what I mean. If you have something to ask me, you can just summon me. I'll go to you. This isn't that important. Besides, you still need to rest from the strenuous journey to Soy Truga. Actually, this whole ordeal is making me even more tired. Hmm? Why do you say that? Oh, uh, no reason. So, Your Majesty, how can I help you? Alto, call me Anna when it's only us two. Uh, a Anna? What do you want? The Anthem program is in its final stages now that Lizette is awake. I just wanted to thank you for... There's no need to thank me. I'm just doing this to help the people of Mithra. Is that really it? Well, maybe it's not the only reason I'm here at this point. If I could use this power to save everyone who's been crystallized, that would be a very rewarding outcome. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. By the way, Alto... Once the Anthem program succeeds, will you return to Mithra? I'm not sure. I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. In that case, would you like to be one of my personal knights? W what? I don't need a response right away, but please consider it. Is this because I'm a conductor? No. I want to learn more from you. And I want to spend more time together. Please. Don't joke around like this. I am quite serious. You should definitely consider it as... Alto! Marie! You didn't come over last night. Can you finally sleep on your own? Nope. I slept with Her Majesty. Really? She had to go to Dr. Veronica's for some tests. Everything there was so scary. She was afraid, so I took her myself and we played afterward. We drank tea, and we took a bath together. <laughs> it was quite fun. What are you two? I don't have any siblings, so it's a bit like having a younger sister. Then I'll be Her Majesty's real little sister. What a wonderful idea! 
I'll bring it up at today's afternoon meeting and... You can't. Please, consider your position. Hmm? You disapprove? It seemed like a good idea to me. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, uh, Anna? Regent Elmar is looking for you. I suppose it can't be helped. Aldo, consider what I said about being one of my knights. Uh, okay. Ah, I forgot to tell you. Klaus was asking for you. He said there was a meeting. I wish you had told me that earlier. Hi, Aldo! Ah, everyone's already here. Sorry I'm late. You're a little turtle, Aldo. How long were you going to make us make me wait? Calm down, my lady. We had a long day yesterday, and the queen was apparently putting her her, her um flirtatious attitude on at us. If you are finished, our meeting will commence. I would like to speak about the final steps of the Anthem program. Wow, it's finally happening! Has the date been set? No, but it will be just as soon as we finish with our preparations. We still need to organize security, and the and the quartet has yet to be completed. After all, it shall be it shall be called the Restoration Festival. The whole kingdom can part, part, yeah, partake in the celebration. A giant kingdom-wide celebration sounds like a pretty big deal. Of course, Alto. That noble day will change the history of the kingdom. No, the world. But will the Harbingers allow us to do it? I don't think they're in any state to stop us, let alone invade the capital. That is correct. Harbinger Sword is essentially non non-existent at the moment. The time is ripe. Hence, the four witches must begin practicing the anthem immediately. Practice more. This is it, guys. Yeah. Just speaking about singing in front of all those people makes me nervous. There is still time to prepare. Be sure to rest and recover appropriately. There is no need to rush yourselves. Yes, sir. That is all. You may go. So, we have this, all this ahead of us now. Well then, what should I do now? We have a lot of free time on our hands now. Holy cow. Well, um, let's go to the... It's like, holy cow. F five free time. That's 15 slots. Okay, well, I think for the next couple of videos, we have an idea of what we're going to be doing now. So let's head to the Night Barracks and see who we can talk to right now. Um, Lizette, I think we need to focus on more, even though more to more... Eh, Lizette is our healer. We want to give her as much um, skill as she can, so let's talk to Lizette. Time will pass if I select yes. Kind of figured, so let's go do this. You talk to Lizette. I'll put this here and do this, and then... You think you'll be able to finish your new storybook in time for the show? Yeah, I'm working really hard on it. Thanks for helping me, by the way. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out with with you, so I don't I don't know if I, if I if I should be here actually. I'm not sure about the others, but personally, I feel safer when around when you're around. I'm happy to hear that, and I'm really excited to see your storybook. What's it about? That's a secret. Get a friendly chat with Lizette. All right. So one more free time with her, and we actually level up her her meter again. Awesome. Can we actually talk to Klaus again? Nope, Klaus is still unable to be talked to. You can't increase the infinity right now. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I guess, oh, Popo's ripe for the uh, level up. I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark here and, and say we're, having to do, we're gonna have to do a tuning event. Just gonna be, just, just a hunch. You went to your room with Popo. Okay, here's a question. How much would it cost to buy three cups? Um, mm, one cup is 1,200 gold, so... Do you want to take a break? It's not good to push yourself too hard. We just took a break. At this rate, we won't finish until midnight. Uh, okay, so 1,200 gold plus another 1,200 gold. In this situation, you should split it up into 1,000 gold and 200 gold. Oh, right! Um, I'm sorry, Alto. I'm making you teach me the same thing over and over again. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to help you learn. You want to be able to work at UN's store, don't you? Yep. Ewan told me that I was well-suited for this job. 
I'm not a quick learner, but I still want to do it properly. That's very admirable of you, but I still think we should take a break. I'll get us some drinks. Wait! Alta, wait! Don't go! Uh huh? What's the matter? I'm sorry. I was the one who asked you to teach me, but I'm not learning anything. I'm just a big dummy. Where's this coming from? Didn't I tell you not to worry about it? Ewan said he's not in a rush, so let's just take things slow and... What if I still don't get it after you've taught me over and over? If Ewan finds out that I'm actually just a big dummy, then... Hey, what's gotten into you? If there's something troubling you, you know you can tell me. I... I... Uh, Popo's chains. Let's take a walk. I need you to tell me what's bothering you. Looks like she needs tuning. I should take her to Medea's. There are chains on Popo's heart. You cannot progress any further for now. Your affinity of Popo did not increase. How unfortunate. Oh well. I kind of saw that coming. But I come on, Popo. This is something we, do we really need to, um... You know, have to go to Medea to discuss about... Just a hunch. Well... Anyway, let's go and talk with, um, Sakuya, cause, oh, look at that! We're probably having another event with Sakuya, how she needs to be tuned as well. So, let's go and talk to her as well, and see what we're, what we're looking forward to next. You went out with Sakuya. It's rare to see you here. You're usually somewhere with the crowd. I'm in a bad mood today. I don't want anyone to see me like this. Did something happen? No, I just had a bad dream, that's all. Hey, Alto, you lived in Mithra for three years, right? Do you remember anything about where you were before that? I don't remember anything. Other towns don't ring a bell either. But I have Lizette and Miss Rosa, and that's all I really need. It must be a really nice village. I'm a little jealous of you. How's your family doing? Well, I suppose they're doing well. I don't know much about them. I'm sure they received a big reward for consigning the next priestess. Are you saying that you haven't seen them since you left? The priestess cannot show favoritism to her relatives. So she has to completely cut ties with her entire family. Besides, I don't have anything to say to them. They abandoned me. Abandoned you? That's a little... They're strangers to me now. They never did anything for me anyway. It's annoying to think about them when I know I'll never see them again. You shouldn't say that. You don't even know how they felt about you. Now you're lecturing me? When did you become so important? What do you care how I feel? It has absolutely nothing to do with you. This is why I wanted to be alone, so I didn't snap at anyone. I... <sighs> what? What's the matter? <sighs> nothing. There's no denying it. I see her chains. Spit it out! It's so frustrating when you don't say anything. That's what I thought. You're lying. Lying? Why would I have to lie to you? Like you said before, being the conductor isn't very fair. Huh? Because even though you try to hide it, I can see through you. She needs tuning. I should take her to Medea's. There are chains in Sakiya's heart. You cannot progress any further for now. Kinda figured. Oh well. What can we do, really? Free time is now over. We've got a plentiful amount of free time left. My, my. It sure is lovely having all four of you here. To be surrounded by such beautiful birds. Ah, oh, I'm in heaven. Medea, thank you for everything you've done. I'm finally able to sing. Yes, yes, I can tell. You have only but begun to blossom. Oh, let me hear your elegant voice. You sure seem excited today, Medea. Well, everyone... Are you done with your warm-ups? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Papa's done! Me 
too. I'm feeling really good today. I guess this is the beginning of our ensemble. Don't pull me down. It's my first time in an ensemble. I'm a bit nervous. Try not to get so wound up over it. Let's just give it a try. Yay! You may begin. Oh, dear. Wait! Stop! What? I was doing so well. Your voice was the only one I heard, Sakuya. This is an ensemble, right? <laughs> but I was singing perfectly. Popo can barely keep up with you. It's impossible. Singing in a group is totally different than singing alone, huh? But... It's a lot of fun. Fun? Don't you think singing with the four of us is better than all by yourself? That may be true. My mistakes aren't as noticeable. It's so exciting when our voices all blend together! That is true. I've been a solo act my whole life. This ensemble is... new territory. Right? We all have the same goal. Undoing crystallization. We'll be able to sing well together. I just know it. I think you're right. So, we have to practice more. Popo will be seriously serious. I'll sing with even more effort. Alto, we'd like to practice by ourselves for a while. Come see us again once we're ready. All right, got it. I'm clueless when it comes to singing. So I'll leave you to it. This place will remain open as long as you wish to use it. Thank you, Medea. It's a huge help. Look forward to the result. Of course. Well, good luck. We head into the next free time of this chapter. This is chapter's gonna go right by real fast. Well then, what should I do now? Well, more free time. Okay, so I think we will spend another time with Lizette. That I may have to call an episode there. It's a bit short, but with this going on right now, it's nothing but free times going on, and the next episode will be nothing but tuning. So I think that's a good way to break this up. So let's head to the Knights Barracks again and talk and spend time with Lizette. Actually, holy cow, we have a lot of tuning in the next episode. I forgot to do three tunings. Because, um, don't worry, we're, we're going to give more and more some love eventually. Um, eventually we'll be able to focus on more. I think there's enough free time to actually... We'll be actually be able to max out some of these people in this free time, um, in this chapter too, which is pretty cool. So you want to talk to Lizette? Yes, we shall. You went out with Lizette. enough flour and sugar, so I need to buy some fruit and... Alto, what do you think about fruit tarts for a snack? Oh, I don't know how to act in front of her. If she didn't want things to change, why did she do that? Alto, are you listening to me? Oh, oh yeah. Sounds good. Marie really likes fruit. Okay, it's decided then. Wait here a sec. <sighs> We're speaking normally, so I guess I can act like I always do with her. Thanks for waiting, Alto. <laughs> they gave me a little extra. That's pretty lucky. Good thing we came shopping today. Here, I'll hold that for you. Is this everything that you bought? Oh, hang on. My wallet is still in there. Uh, crap! She's touching my hand. <laughs> Sorry. I just... Uh, oh, it's all right. Um, hey, Lizette, if you're done shopping, we should head back to the barracks. Huh? Um, but... Well, you're planning on cooking, aren't you? And I need to train. <sighs> Lizette? I'm sorry for asking you out of the blue to come shopping with me. What's with you all of a sudden? 
I just wanted to have a fun time hanging out like we used to. But I guess it's not going so well. I'm just making you feel uneasy. Oh, don't worry about that. It's not like it's your fault. I, I heard what you said earlier. Through the door. What? We act most natural around each other as a witch and a conductor. We can speak normally when we're around the other royal knights. Y hang on, Lizette. That's not what I meant. I've been thinking about you ever since. And... Alto, wait. Please don't say any more than that. I'm afraid to hear your answer. If I cause you even more trouble, I... <laughs> I'm going to head back now. I'm sorry I made you come with me. Wait! Hold on, Lizette. Please don't get so upset. You're right. I'm feeling uneasy and need time to think about it. I don't want to hurt you. I want you to at least believe that. Alto. Let's head back together. We need to finish our conversation. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just panicked a little. I'll forgive you for a tart. You're still going to give me one, right? Of course. Lizette needs to be tuned again. I need to take her to Medea's. There are chains on Lizette's heart. You cannot progress any further for now. It's your fault, Alto. Just tell her if you like her like, like that or if you don't. And then move on with your life. That's all you really need to do. Alright, well. There we go. So, this is going to be an interesting next time. So. Next time on Let's Play Stella Glow. We shall be going forward to the tuning hall and tuning Popo, Sakuya, and Lizette. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check the other parts in this series. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamalad signing off. <laughs> Just